Hello. Um, with, you know, the law of attraction and everything you can have, do whatever you want. What if there was a particular male that I was attracted to and I wanted as, you know, a boyfriend or a husband? How would I go about attracting him? In particular, there's one person. He doesn't, I don't think he knows me yet, that I've really been attracted to for the past two years. And recently he took on a girlfriend. How would I go about attracting him? Is that possible? Well, it is. But here's the thing. Sometimes, in fact, very frequently, people will see something, a person, a prize, and they will feel competition for this one prize. And the problem with that is when you see someone that you think you would like or something that you think you would like, but then you see someone else as the possessor of it, mm -hmm. in your attention to what you want and in your attention to the fact that someone else has it, now your vibration is not pure and so oh, yes. it cannot come to you. <laughs> okay. And so the most significant thing that we would say that will serve you over and over and over again is just keep remembering there is not only one prize. And so say to yourself things such as, you appeal to me, don't say this to this person, say this to yourself about this person. Okay. You appeal to me in all of these ways and I am going to draw the essence of you to me. And thank you for being here, for me to observe, for me to sniff out vibrationally, for me to think about and dream about and visualize around. Thank you for being a focal point that I will use to align my energy. And then I trust that Law of Attraction will bring me an exact replica of that which I believe you are. The wonderful thing about this is that you can look at someone who may have many characteristics that you don't want, and if you don't see them, the universe will not bring to you the replication of the characteristics that you do not want. In other words, you could pick out one thing about someone that you really, really like. Maybe it could strictly be appearance. And then you could mentally give this person all of the other attributes that you are wanting. And as you use them as a focal point that causes you to focus energy, and as the desire is fresh and good feeling when you focus, not full of lackful feeling because this person has not yet come fully to you, then you are doing all kinds of things within your own vibration that puts you in the place where law of attraction is lining you up with what you want. You've heard the expression, we really like the physical words that someone has coined that says, the universe has imagined it even better than you have. And we like to add to that, the universe got all of its information about what you like from you, but just has remembered every piece of it and has put it together in perfect formation. And so the things that are on their way to you are so much better than you even know that you want. And when you are blissing out over this and appreciating over this and getting in a rampage of appreciation over that and having fun with this and having joy about this, and feeling meditation over this in other words when you are doing as many activities in a day as you can do that feel good to you then all of these things that the universe knows that you are wanting make their way to you and appear in perfect timing for you okay because I felt when I found him saw him or heard him that it was all that you know every beyond what I could ever imagine that I wanted and it hearing him strikes such a deep chord with me it almost scares me somewhat well your work is to keep yourself in a place of relief in other okay. words when you want it so much it hurts you're wanting it too much <laughs> yeah but when you don't think about it and you miss the thought of it now you're not thinking about it enough but when you think about it and then you feel doubtful now you're wanting it more than you're able to allow it really the rule of thumb is I want to think about this person as much as I can as long as it feels good and when it crosses a line and doesn't feel good then your work is to sort of scramble and we don't mean that because it's urgent but we mean get there as fast as you can in a place of relief so you just keep talking your angst down by saying I don't have to make anything happen what I'm wanting is coming if not this person another one just like him or even better in other words uh, just talk yourself back into that soothed place okay. it's great fun to see all of this evolving and you see it's interesting for us because we know all of the things that you want and we know what's lined up for you and we know how it will thrill you so it's like we've seen the end of the movie and it really <laughs> turns out good but then as we watch you prolonging the 
unfolding in a pleasing way because you don't trust that the end of the movie turns out good, then we want to tell you that the end of the movie turns out good. But then you want to say, yes, but does this movie turn out exactly the way I want it to turn out? And we say, yes, it turns out exactly the way you want it to turn out. You say, but how will it happen and who will it be and when will it come? And we say, now you're getting to that place where you're not so much allowing it to be, you see. So what we're really trying to instill within you is a sense that it's going to be really, really good for you. And why not enjoy the journey? Why not relax a little and not try to demand that the universe give it to you in the distorted precision that you are identifying? Instead, let the universe give you what you really want. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs>